If Prosecco is one of your go-to tipples, then you might not be surprised to hear that almost one in three bottles of all Prosecco is sold in the UK. But what might be more surprising is that just over a decade ago, brand Prosecco didn't really exist. With champagne thought as too luxurious and rich for a weekly treat, and Carver battling with a cheap image, Prosecco came along and plugged that gap. Light, fruity and affordable, Prosecco ticked the box for both taste and price. The style of Prosecco is a result of the winemaking process, which is different to that used for Champagne, Carver and many other sparkling wines from around the world. This is called tank fermentation. Fermentation is a process where yeast and sugar produce alcohol, and this is how all wines are made. One of the byproducts of fermentation is carbon dioxide, and for still wines, this CO2 is allowed to escape. Trapping this in the wine will make it fizzy. For tank fermented sparkling wines, the first step is to make a still wine, which is called the base wine. This is put into a tank, sugar and yeast are added, the tank is sealed, and then a second fermentation process starts. Because the tank is sealed, the carbon dioxide is trapped and dissolves into the wine, making it fizzy. The wine is then bottled under pressure and sealed with a cork and a wire cage. The wines don't spend time with their lees sediment, which is what gives champagne its signature richness and toasty bready aromas. This is why Prosecco is light and delicate and tastes fruity with floral notes. Tank fermentation is also a significantly cheaper, less expensive and less labour intensive way to make fizz, which contributes to the more everyday price of Prosecco. Hopping from Prosecco in North East Italy to North West Italy, we find the region of Asti. Here, a variation of the tank method is used. In this case, no base wine is needed. Simply put the grape juice into a tank, add yeast and allow the fermentation to begin. Partway through the fermentation, the tank is sealed so that the carbon dioxide is trapped, creating bubbles. The fermentation is then stopped before all the sugar has been converted to alcohol. And the result, a wine which is sweet, low in alcohol and sparkling. It makes a wonderful choice for a picnic or afternoon tea. The success of Prosecco shows no signs of diminishing anytime soon, and rightly so. A little tip from me, next time you buy a bottle, take a look at whether you see the letters DOC or DOCG on the label, or on the paper strip on the neck of the bottle. Wines labelled as DOCG have been made from grapes coming from the very best vineyard sites in the Prosecco region. And this is why you'll find that these wines typically cost a little more, but you should also find another dimension of flavour purity and elegance to enjoy.